all right so we have started recording so now abdul you move forward with the discussion now uh, if you do a, do me a favor abdul now yeah. can you remove the right click i want to show you something now can you see the vertical line here average response time yes and the horizontal line what what is it is written here Average response time. The, this is the vertical line, but horizontal line. Uh, elapsed scenario time. Elapsed scenario time in seconds. Uh, right now, it is for which transaction? Uh, uh, sorry. Uh, sorry. Uh, scroll up. Scroll up. Show us. Who it is for what transaction? Yeah. Scroll up. Now it, it is for yeah. click on sign up link, right? How how yeah. did we remove the remove other transactions by unchecking those check boxes yeah. in the legend yeah. section? Now, if you look at the horizontal line, it is elapsed scenario time, right? Let's say you have executed yeah. your test. Go to the summary report again. Summary report now. What, what if you scroll up here if you scroll up here so the test duration were 2 minutes and 43 seconds can you see the duration of the test was 2 minutes and 43 seconds and if you look at the top period what is the period you have executed this test on 17th of May from 164723 to 165006 right this is your time span right execution period and you have executed this test for 2 minutes and 43 seconds for how long 2 minutes 43 seconds now if you go to your average uh, transition response time graph now from here what can you see this test what can you see this test 2 minute and 20 yeah. second 20. 2 minute and what 2 minute and 20 second you can see that right yes okay okay why is it different yeah, yeah I'll, I'll tell you why is it different now right click uh, okay before you right click can you can you bring another transaction tc001 Zero 01 open application can you bring that guys Hey, I was uh, just disconnected from the call. That's okay. All right. So let me come to the point of discussion now. Still, we can see that our time is uh, two twenty, right? Yes. Two minute and twenty. Now, if you scroll all the way down. actually before you do that can you do can you click on that let me do it okay hold on two in all hmm. and um, can you bring all of this transaction again okay hold on hold on hold on here now what you are seeing
now what you are saying two minutes what you are saying two minutes 40 right can you see two minutes 40 now right so the time this now that this time basically it depends on what is the transaction you are keeping in the graph so how long Hmm. Uh, can you show why it's showing in 2 minutes 40 seconds? Sure. So 2 minutes and 40 seconds it is showing because if you remove this action, right? Can you see now it is 2 minutes and 20? Uh -huh. But if you bring that action, it is 2 minutes and 40 because, because remember in your script, you have open application and then finally you log out right sign, sign off so when you reach the sign off then your script is done so it is actually calculating it is actually calculating how long it is taking for end to end Two minute and forty three second. Okay, okay. So let me tell you what let me tell you what is this for. Let me go back. Let me bring let me bring this. Give me a second, I'm, I'm looking on it, just a second. So I can see that your script 2 has open application and then you have sign up right then you have script one sign up and and this is zero one open application right now if you bring all of the transactions here in the graph So that is all of our transactions, right? So this one is showing that this one is showing that your your scenario. Can you see that this line here, this is small line here, it is 240, right? Can you see this? This line is like this this is your 240 can you see this this dot here this is your 240 but after that can you see we have some more time here more space. we have more space after that okay. can you see like after here is the cursor right this is the 240 point but after that we have more transactions after that we have a little bit more time So, so that is how actually you test went for from 00 second to 2 minute and 40 second, 43 second, right?
now yeah. now this this period the time is if you see elapsed scenario times you can see from 00 to 2 minute and 43 second but you do not know in what time of the day you executed the test i mean this is a time that is relevant like it started from 0 and finished at 243 right but if you want to see absolute time absolute time real time how will you do that you right click here and you go to display options and in the display option can you see absolute time okay right you select that and click close okay now what you can see now what you can see absolute time, absolute time. can you see 16 47 30 and then uh, this is the real time right not not the relative time okay now can everyone see this? Okay. So here, this is this is your absolute time. That is how that is how you actually um, display your result in absolute time. Now, if you take a look, your question, Abdul, your question, where, right? You are saying that click sign up click sign up this click sign up should not start before open application right that is what you are saying right mm -hmm. now let me just keep these two transaction and remove all the other transaction then we will see real time actually what happened Now if you if you go up if you go up so yeah. the yellow line is your the yellow line is your um, open, application. open application and then the uh, blue line is your blue line. click on sign up click, click on sign up right so my question was why you know some time absolute time now if you hold on if you take a look this let me see one thing here if you go to your runtime settings and from your runtime settings uh, this is the script one right now what is your run logic where is your script which one is your first script what uh, this, is the first one. This, one. this one is the first one registration okay now let me yeah. bring this script let me try to bring this script So guys, what, what I am telling, whatever you are learning here, do not think that in that way that you are going to forget it. And after some days, actually you become as you were before that course. No. What, what you need to do, as long as you know, you are trying and you are trying, into, trying to getting into the market, we we will 
like after this this batch is going to be finished on july no so as long as you are trying to get into the market we will chasing you we will running behind you to push you in the market so as long as we see you are trying to get into the market you are keep communicating with us even though july no after july we will will keep you chasing to place you in the market so what do we want from now on like you know you prepare yourself for the interview for for the job itself do not think that you know after this course day by day i will be forgetting it no we will chasing you we will try to keep your knowledge uh, you know current and uh, as long as you are not in the market our goal will be to to keep you you know supporting so that you can get into the market so you know if you try go nothing is impossible what i will say you keep trying you keep trying to like i know some of you you tried a lot to understand this load runner but it might be possible that all of, not all of you are in the same place i understand but this course has manual testing part uh, functional testing part load runner performance testing part so there are multiple things by which you can get into the market now in your script if i look at can you bring your script can you click on uh, view solution explorer solution explorer and click on the in the middle part like can you see abdul what we discussed this yes. this middle part will start with the word action because this is the action yeah yeah so you you rename it by following the proper structure now let me show you one thing here so in your script you have open application and then click on sign up right now let me go to your runtime settings here now let me see what is the think time that you have so your think time when you executed that test was 4 to 5 percent right what is your think tank 4 to 5 percent now in your script what is the think tank you have in between uh, open application and click on sign up what is the think tank you have you have five you have five second right you have five second is that correct yes okay now let's say you have mentioned 4 to 5% now if you do a calculation if you do a calculation let me let me bring it actually i want to give you what is your calculator bring the calculator it's right yeah bring the calculator okay okay so if you calculate 4 times oh it is not can you can you click on 4 okay um, let me close all of it uh -huh. okay. 4 times 5 by 4 times 5 4 times 5 divided by 100 equal to 0.2 right point yeah. 0.2 now 1 second if you divide 1 second in 5 if you divide 1 second in 5 part if you divide one second in five different section that is what you think tank 
You understand what I am trying to explain? Point two second. Your think time is so low that from extremely low, so that from your from your uh, from your graph, okay. it is it is very hard to see. Can you see this transaction is starting? Open application is starting fast, right? Open application yeah. is starting fast, but immediately point two second is not making any difference because. Point one second, point two second. It, it is very, very. Uh, what I say, it is very, very small amount of time. That is why you are yeah. seeing that they are literally they are starting at the same time. Yeah, yeah. So if you have a like, if you have in between, if you have. Two second, four second, think time. Then you will see actually the difference. Okay. You understood what I'm trying to explain, right? I, I, I understood. Okay. Now let me try to see if I can bring any differentiation. Hold on. I'm trying to do something. So let's say. Let me keep this. Right now, now point one five. Now, if you just keep this, and point nine. Point nine. Okay. Now, can you see this open application, right? This open application, it has. So there is very little bit difference, very little bit, but it is hard to make differentiate. Okay. Yes. Okay. So now, do you have any further question on this? So, okay, I I reviewed your work. Now, let me let me bring another topic. Ninety-eight percentile. What is the ninety? What what is your understanding? Can you see ninety percent? Can you see this ninety percent? Yes. Right. W what is this? What is this ninety percent means? So I'll I'll be explaining it in your computer basically. Okay. Now, if you go back. Your transaction response time, and if you bring, um, let's say, this transaction, right? This transaction. How many transaction you have here for this uh, for this open application? You have one, two, three, four, five, six, nine. seven, eight. Nine, but let me see in your summary report how many you have. In your summary report, you have open application actually ten. So let's see uh, where it is now. This is the first one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Somehow uh, there are ten tran transactions here, but we cannot see that now. So, out of this, out of this ten transaction, out of this ten transaction or nine transaction, can you see all of the transactions? They are response like the response time is under point one five, right? Can you see all of the transactions? Their response time is under point one five. Is that correct? But one transaction, its response time is more than 0.6 second. Is that correct? Is that correct? Yeah. Okay. Now let's go to the go to the summary report. So 
open application open application it is saying that 90th percentile 90th percentile is 0.15 what is the 90th percentile value 0.15 now let's say 151 now how how they are calculating that 90th percentile how right so if you go back to your transaction response time let's say uh, let me bring let me bring a notepad can you open a notepad let's do let's do a summary summarize okay okay now now oh we have two right yeah okay so So ten. If you okay, the first one. Let's say the first one is the first one is what is the value for the first one? Response time. Let's say zero point six five. Zero point six six thousand. Six five or six six. Okay. Okay. Five. For the second one, what is the response time for the second one? It is let's say. Zero point one. Let's say zero point one five. Zero point. It is it is a little bit higher than. It is a little bit higher than zero point one five. Right. Let's say zero point one. Five one. So for the next one, it is let's say so one two three four five six seven eight. Nine, okay. So uh, the next one is how much? Let's say the next one is uh, zero point one three. One three. And then the other one is zero point zero point zero five, and then the next one is zero point zero six. Point zero six, and then the next one is let's say zero. Point one three, and then the next one is zero point. I'm just, I'm just assuming. Yeah. Yeah. Zero point one two, and then the next one is zero point one one, and then the final one is, let's say, zero. Zero point one three, right? Now, now can you see? So this is your this is your first, right? Can you see the dot? Can you see the dot? This is your first transaction, right? Yeah. This is your second transaction. This is your third. This is your fourth. This is your fifth. This is your sixth. This is your seventh. This is your eighth. This is your ninth. This is your tenth. So that many transactions you have, and this is this is their time, right? Now, if you go back, go back to that uh, here, right? Now, one, two. Three, four, five, six, 
seven eight nine ten right is that correct yeah. okay now out of that ten if you if you uh, organize them from ascending order right the smallest one is how much the smallest one the smallest one is zero zero point zero zero five right zero point zero five and the next one is zero point six and the next one is zero point we have zero point one one right one one and then the next one is zero point one two one two and the next one is zero point one three how many we have zero point one three three right zero yeah zero point one three and then there is another one 0.13 and the next one is 0.1 0.14 and the next one is 0.151 0.1551 and the last one is 0.66 Zero point six six, right? So these are the ten. These are the ten transactions. Like I know that open application executed for ten times, and for these ten times, each of the time, how much time it took? We have organized those time in ascending order. Is that clear? Yes. Okay. Are we sure about like what we are discussing? Are you understanding? Okay, so this time at the real sequence, right? How they happened? How they happened? Okay. So the first transaction took 0.66, the second transaction took 0.151, and the third transaction took 0.13, and the other transaction took 0.05 in that way. But when you organize it from ascending order, right? Then it becomes like uh, arrange arrange in ascending order right right when you arrange it in ascending order is that correct then what you do then you remove the top 10% remove the top 10% value so if you remove the top 10% we have 10 transaction here right so if you remove the top 10% top 10% what what we are going to remove top 10% if you remove the top 10% that means one of the transaction will be removed so 10 transaction if you make it 10 percent it will be one transaction at the last right so you remove the top 10 percent of the transaction we remove the top 10 percent now we have nine transaction right yeah. now now this is the value is your 98 percentile because all of the value top 10 percent is gone right top 10 percent is gone now the value left in the top part is the is your 98 percentile value so this now the value left at the uh, like we are still in ascending order after removing after removing the top 10 percent value whatever whatever value oh, no, uh, can you explain uh, a little bit uh, what is the top 10 percent then? sure sure i'll do that whatever value left in the higher 
and is is your 90th 90th percentile percentile value now to answer your question what are the top 10 percent how many value you have here 10 right 10, 10. 10. so what is the what is the um, what is the if i say top top 10 percent if i say top 10 percent how many value we have 10 value right how, how many value we have 10 so top 10 percent means one value it will be one value if you make like if, sorry yeah highest one because top 10 percent means top 10 percent means one value one value like if, if i say you have 10 value right if i say one value if i say 10 percent if you have 10 value so the question here let's say you have 10 value you have 10 values right you have 10 values you have 10 values now if i say what is what is what is what is 10 percent 10 percent of your 10 values right so how will you calculate it how will you calculate it so let's say you have you are taking 10 percent out of 100 right so in 100 in it is a mathematical calculation in 100 you are taking how much 10 so in one you are taking 10 by 100 now how many values you have in 10 values how many values you will be taking in 10 values you will be taking 10 times 10 by 100 that makes 1 that makes 1 right i'm saying how you calculate 10 percent top 10 percent top 10 percent so i know first i'm calculating 10 percent makes how many values 10 percent make one one value right now that one value from where from top oh. hmm? from the top from the top means this is the one value from the top yeah the, the highest one so you take that one off so when you take that one off you have nine values and on that ninth value is your 98 percentile yeah. is it clear what is 98 percentile right yes any question from anyone okay abdul can you can you can you send me okay Now, Abdul, if you can send me this text in the email, and then I'm going to yeah. like from from 98 percentile. Do you have any question? No. Okay. Now, can, Abdul, can you copy and send me this text in in the support email? Uh, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on.
Okay. Can you copy this and send it to me in the email? So when you will get a question what is 98th percentile your answer will be first you will be putting a definition what is 98th percentile and if they want further any further explanation then you put this calculation now Now if you take a look, right, what is 98th percentile first? The 98th percentile is a measure of statistical distribution not unlike median. The median is the middle value, the average value. The median is the value for which 50% of the values were bigger and 50% smaller. The 98th percentile tells you the value for which 90% of the data points are smaller and 10% are bigger. Guys, are you understanding the definition? So the definition of 90th percentile, the 90th percentile tells you the value for which the value for which 90% of the data points are smaller. Right? You have seen that we have figured out this is our 90th percentile but for this 90 percent of the value are smaller than that value so if this is your 90 percent value 90 percent of the value 90 percent 90 percent of the value are smaller than this value and only 10 percent of the value are higher than this value so that is what they are saying the 90th percentile tells you the value for which 90 percent of the data points are smaller and 10 percent are bigger correct and we have calculated it from our from a result that we achieved from a performance test we have calculated realistically how they are calculating the 90th percentile value now i am trying to see if you have any question Sure, I, I'll do that. Now, uh, regarding 98th percentile, as I said, this is a good interview question, right? This is a good interview question. Uh, does anyone has any question on this? Yeah, so one is average value, one is 90th percentile value. If you understand this, this is a, this is good. I will move forward with our further topics. Now, Naved. So if you if you hold on. So if your script is if you see a failure, then that next task from is the controller. yeah from the controller you figure out your script. What is the problem with that? What is the problem? Hold on, brother. So you figure out what is the problem in the script. If you solve that problem and then you refresh the script in. Yeah, that can you show me how? Sure, I'll do that. I'll do that. Now, I'll do that. So, let me quickly show you that how you figure out that, and then uh, let's say, let me bring my controller.
and um, let's say I'm going to click cancel here and then I'm going to open a previous scenario open let me see if I have any yeah I have a scenario right okay let me bring this scenario so if you have saved your scenario you do not need to create every time you can open your previous scenario in fact in the real life where you have for your 50 test cases you cannot create the scenario every time so you save it and then when you need to execute it you bring the old scenario now let's say what i'm going to do let's say this is script right this is script user registration okay so if i open that script can you see how i am opening this script from here from the controller how i am opening this script can you see only by so i'm i'm opening yeah i'm opening this script now let's say in that script i am making a mistake i am i am intentionally i am removing this this word i remove that word right yes. and then i am saving it now i am closing it right now if i start execution if i start execution let's say i'm going to i'm not i'm going to create a uh, today's 5 and what is the date today 520 right okay now it is starting the execution and it will show some error let me see what are those errors it is showing here if I go there oh so before I do that let me actually I'll have to start the server right otherwise it will not make sense so HP web to server right and stop this execution stop stop now right so when it, it is stopped i'm going to start the execution again reset and then i'm going to start the execution So it is failing in the opening application can you see that in uh -huh. in script one where it is failing can you see in this is tc001 and tc001 in in opening application it is failing right but if you look at if you look at um, actually tc001 all of the users are all of the actually both of the uh, test cases are uh, tc001 but let me see what is this saying this five failed users right check out window for more details right there is a it is saying that there is a error now what is that error if you do not connect it maybe hold on now let me see uh, if i go to the errors so it is saying that fail to connect server i think we have fiddler right no no not fiddler fail to connect to server so it is not able to let me figure out that issue before i uh, fail to connect to the server what does it mean Navid? i saw that there is a like lock 
Yeah. Let me not let me remove let me remove this uh, group from here. I'm just picking one group. Let me remove. Yeah, just one script. Remove that script. Right? I remove. Now, if you go to the local host, can you? Uh, yeah. Right. So you click here, and it is saying that it is connected and connected and ready. Right? So I am going to disconnect and I am going to, can you see when you are disconnected it is status down. Now if you click connect then it is connected. Now let me do the execution again. So it seems like my server is still not running, right? Can you see from here? Yeah, your server is open. My server is still not running, so I'll have to see why it is not yeah, running. If if this server is not running, your, your server is open. I, I I don't see anything like. Uh, no, the server if the server is now that if the server is here, you will see that in the taskbar, right? So let me see uh, yeah. HP web to server so now it is running right now i can see it in the taskbar so it is running so let me start the execution again now you can see the users are exiting out let's see what is happening over there so if I go there, compilation error, script actually, uh, there is a problem in the script and it is, it cannot compile, right? Can you see compilation error? Can, syntax error, can you see in line number 22, what is the line number? Guys, line number 22, can you see from here? Yeah, so uh, brother Munir, yes. can you see what it is saying? There is a compilation error. What is that compilation error? If you go to your action, right, line number 22, syntax error, line number action, line number 22. Yeah, so how do you, how do you figure out this error? Can you see? You, it is saying in the action dot C and line number 22. So now how you solve this problem you go to design you select this and can you see you open the script you open the script and after opening the script i'm, I'm going to show you uh, in the action the problem was in line number 22 let, let me open it and then i'll show you okay now let me go to the action right can you see uh, it is in line number 22 that means that it is expecting something before line number 22 now if you compile can you see this is the compile option if you compile it here if you compile the script here from views n let me see what is the error can you see syntax error found what is the line number 22 can you see that and what is the file dot c action dot c file can you see that does it does it is it matching with your error that you saw in the controller so what is the problem here the problem is we have removed something from here yeah yeah so here here when you when you start a new transaction it is expecting before starting a new transaction there will be a semicolon it, it will it is expecting something here and that is why it is saying you are starting one but previous it is showing line number 22 but the problem is one line before but in the one line 
like in line number 21 we are missing something okay. now if you compare uh, uh, yeah uh, uh, Yeah. Uh, because you are expert, that's why, right? But for us, like ours, like it's quite impossible for me to find out just uh, affecting 21 or 22. So these kind of situations, how do we handle? Okay, sure. Now take a look here. Take a look here. In line number 22, we have LR N transaction, and we can see there is nothing wrong in it. Can we? Yes. Now, very common that when you are sending a request, right? When you are sending a request, every request will have a last. Every request will have a last. And every line, as I say, every line means this is this this as a whole is a line. The whole thing as a whole is a line this is a line this is a line every line will be ending with a semicolon now this this request itself is a line and it will it, it is supposed to be ending with a last and a semicolon so that is how that is how you figure out Not so, but did I answer your question? Oh yes, oh, yes. So I here see. you will have to apply. I have yeah. Here, let me let me tell you one other thing. Not so, here is you have to apply your, as I say, like this job, this job is not like you know working in a retail store. This is not like working in in a customer service position this is something where intellectuality right computer programming yes, yes. so this is where uh, let me let me tell you one other thing before i uh, let me just so uh, what i am explaining you are having this issue but you have no clue why you are saying that so what you do you go to google you copy that text and you go to google right and from here you remove the unnecessary and in load runner actually i cannot probably is it uh, oh, from there right so let me am i not connected to internet from here internet access so Google, let's say um, Now I will have to uh, go to my syntax error found this expecting this. I will have to go to my base machine, right? Syntax syntax error found found semicolon expecting expecting this in load runner so you will search it in the google and you will have to go through many of the link will not give you right solution you will have to go through each of the link and you will have to read the blog to find out the error you understand yes yes thank you very helpful thank you okay now what we are discussing here is um, I was yes, the problem shows here. You know, you can see the last. The yeah. Learning. Yeah. Exactly. So you will uh, see that the main, the way we work is Google is our best friend. In work, no. Your partner, no. He is not your best friend. Your best friend is Google in your partner in your work. Okay. Now, uh, Munirbai. So what I did, I put that word here. I am going to save this script, I am going to close it. Now sometimes you want to uh, go to 
click here and you want to refresh your script if you see your change is not replaying here and then if you execute now right hopefully you will at least not see that error so now still you will see error but it should not be related to that syntax error now can you see now the syntax error is not there now it is a different error thank you not found because we are registering user with the data that already registered you understood so that the syntax error is not there it is a different error you understood so so that is how if you have a problem in your script that is how you solve it okay now do you have any further question on your way Okay. Sure. Now, Navid, yeah. you want me to make you presenter? Okay. Let me make you presenter. Guys, how how helpful is this session? Are you finding it helpful, or it is? So it will be more meaningful if you can practice, if you can apply those things that we are learning here in your day-to-day -day working and in your day-to-day -day learning curve. If you do not practice it, you will be in the same place. So I have everything in a form of already show you my end of one, but I already one time I completely did mm -hmm. the start and scenario. Mm -hmm. Then I stop and I Navid, can you go back? Navid, can you go back to the end of point? From there, you make it policy, make it ten. You have ten user in your script, right? Yeah, I have ten. Yeah, make it ten. It's okay. Then I have time setting. Now, so what? Is, yeah, do that. And before you start execution, let me know. I want to see something. Uh, I I put uh, some test list, okay. Mm -hmm. Or I put a uh, what two user for every ten second. What do you put? Yeah, simultaneously two users every ten second. That is fine. No, no, no. Hold on. Now it, it mm. is not done. It is not done. Start the user. Okay. Simultaneously two users. Okay. Two users. Mm -hmm. If you put Navid, if you put five iteration, right? Then you want to run it for run until completion. Because if you mention iteration, we run it for yeah. run until completion. completion. Then then it will be running for five iteration. But if you want to run it for five seconds, then you do not put you put in the uh, run logic. You put one, one iteration. One. one iteration. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. Before you uh, now before you run it. Can you open your script now, Yes.
Okay, Nabil, can you show us your rendezvous point? I can see now with one thing, you didn't name your exam in the right way. I don't put the exam. Yeah, I don't actually I don't did it because I have a problem with our uh, controller, that's why I'm just focused uh, what can I do for this thing. This is a render book right here. This is your this is yeah, this is your render book one I can see in line number fifty-six or fifty-seven. Now can you go back to your parameter setup? Now, I, I want to see sequential iteration that looks good. Click close. And then, that's it. Yeah, go to controller. Connected hostess, I'll uh, check again. Yeah. Connected. And everything is basic schedule, everything is good. So, if I click it, then you see my. There's nothing to. So what is the problem you are having is your graphs are not coming? I don't see any graphs, yeah. Yeah, I, I try to double click, mm -hmm. I try to view uh, for show for a graph, I try everything, you know. And I, I already try everywhere, but I don't know, like, where is my graph? Did you install the... Um, uh, virtual machine. Mm -hmm. I only did, but uh, in virtual machine, my mm -hmm. controller is not working. I don't know like, why. Okay, I'll I'll, I'll 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 take a look. But give me control. Let me see uh, if I can find anything in your. Okay. Can you bring your controller where you are executing? Okay, okay let me see. Let me see. So the, your execution is done. We are going to start the execution again. Okay. Can you close this novel? This analysis, we don't need it. set up a little bit so that the script keeps running for a longer period of time. Okay. You need to select maybe. Actually instead of instead of uh, giving yeah. iteration we are going to do it for 10 minutes now. So I am going to okay. run. I am going to run until completion. Instead of run until completion, now if you keep it run until completion, now it will be executing only for only uh, for uh, for uh, one iteration. Now here you mention five minutes, right? Yeah, we, we we are going to run it for ten minutes. Okay. Like how many? Like two or four, five. Which one? Run for like every two. Run for no 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 no. This is this is for run for two days. How many days? How many hours? Oh okay. Oh day. Day. If you want to run for one day, two day, you can do it by selecting here. Okay. All right. Sometimes, you know, some application they ask for, okay, keep running for one day to see like at any point if the application breaks. So, so, so 
if, if it is happen like your computer is you know the light is off, your execution is problem, it, it is happen. What is the problem? Or you need to like, or you need to like uh, uh, skin skin server mode like you open uh, long time. So you have to you have to keep your Nabed, you have to keep your computer awake and running. Yeah. Okay. Now, what is the question, Munibai? You are asking. No, I am asking. Uh, yeah, server is on. Yeah, server will will be on. Like uh, this test, we run it for longer duration. If you keep running it for one day. If the application where the host application is hosted, if there is any problem, if you keep running for longer duration. No, I am saying like, like you running one day, mm -hmm. it's running, so you don't want to touch the computer, you don't uh, move the cursor, your mm -hmm. skin is uh, light off. So you what know, what do you need to do, Nabeth? You, you need to change your power plan so that your computer oh, doesn't no. go off. Like if you go to control panel, from there you select yeah, never. Right. Yeah, skin will be like a long time. Yeah, yeah. So at any case, your uh, computer will have to be when you are running a script from controller, the machine that you are running the script from, you will have to keep that machine awake and working. I'm trying to see why your graph is not coming. Yeah, I think you did one time. I I saw that is is coming just only one time. I saw one one day, but another day is not coming. Yet. And you did the. Uh, I I already check everywhere, you know. Try to figure out uh, why not is coming. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, so then I'm trying to. There is a setup somewhere could be that is yeah. not. Yeah. Is there any option like reset the controller? Like no. You will have to reinstall this load runner. Yeah, load runner totally. Yeah. If, if, if it is not work, then I uh, uninstall and install again maybe.
supposed to build and show output. Uh, I think I don't know like why it is not. Yeah, something is coming. Can you scroll down a bit? So you don't have a scroll down option here? So I will say you um, you re you reinstall your some somehow your sometimes this view is changed you reinstall it. Yeah, so you do a reinstall because somehow your settings change and it is actually causing that issue. What you do, you from your uh, program list, you uninstall this and then you bring it. 
Can you click on open open graph? Uh, I try to oh, figure out types of the new graph. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can you can view graph one by one, but like uh, we see all of the graph in the screen, it seems like this option is coming not coming here. So I'll say reinstall your uh, software. All right, so now that do you have any other issue that you want to discuss here? Mm, no, I don't have any other issue. Like this one is a big trouble. If, if it is not coming, like how can I like uh, controlling the CPU? So what 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 you will have to do? What you will have to do? You will have to see individual graph right now. But I will say you reinstall your software and then you go from there. Okay, so reinstall it tonight and let me know how, how it is going after reinstalling. Okay, so does anyone other has? So in the next class, I'm going to start UFT as well. But with UFT, I will have a short window where I'll be answering your load runner question and I'll be taking your interview questions, probably half an hour. I'll be sending you I know 10 interview question is already there. I'm going to send you another 10 interview questions. So we'll have further discussion on these 20 interview questions on Roadrunner. Plus, Maksud Bhai will be taking some part of the UFT and I will be taking some part of the UFT too. Okay, guys, are we good at this point? Yes, Yeah. Can you see the email last? You sent me the last week. Uh, uh, I can see very quickly the email I get from you. Oh, uh, the email. So in the email, I can show what is the problem. In the email, you didn't get the attachment. Yeah, I, I can show that now. If you get the resolution. All right. So let me let me give you let me make you presenter. And uh, let me stop recording because our most part, the discussion that I wanted to cover is covered. So I'm going to stop recording here. But I'll send you the recording as soon as it is processed.